Shalom, my gamers. How are we? My name's Frost, and welcome to another Top 5 video. It's unusual that I do one of these, but hey, I do one about every month, so hello. Today we're not doing it on Overwatch, we're doing it on GTA, and we're doing the Top 5 Best Businesses. Now, two things. Uh, first one is, in GTA Online, there isn't really a best business. I'm just doing things from like a money making perspective and also like solo players and all that aspect added into it. Like how solo friendly the business is and all that stuff. So, you know, don't think that like any business not mentioned like this is bad or that a business isn't high or isn't that good. I'll explain reasons for why I put them there. So technically you could take this with a grain of salt and be like, you know, it's not really a best business, there's just certain ones that make more money than others and more that are solo friendly and yada yada yada. And also, if you do want to recommend top 5, my discord will be in the description and there's also the comment section. And yeah, with that being said, hopefully you enjoy this one, because yeah, I mean, why, why not? So yeah, without that, with that being said, let's get started. Number 5 is the import-export business which was probably my favourite business to do. It's very solo friendly and probably one of, if not the most solo friendly business. Basically to do this you need a CEO office, the cheapest one being a million, and then you need um, another, I think the cheapest is 1.5 million um, for a vehicle warehouse. Basically you use your office or a terabyte to, if you have one, to source cars, there's three different ranges. Um, you should always try and get um, top range, and there's a way to do that, which is 10 standard and 10 mid range. Once you do that, you'll only source top range cars. You um, that you then design them for 20,000, and you you take them to the buyer. Try not to damage it because for some reason, to make the business harder, obviously. Rockstar made it so that the cars take a lot more damage than usual and then that comes out of your profit or your vehicle repair, your repairs which pay your mechanic and your warehouse to then fix the car up before you to sell it. You shouldn't really sell um, mid or uh, standard range cars, it's just not worth it really. So you know you should always try and aim for top range cars to sell because that will make you the most money and you can also do um, a sell mission every 20 minutes I think it is so you do one that's 20 minute timer then you can do another one and in that time you can do whatever you want really so yeah that's why it's all like I said most solo friendly business of one of them not the best for money making though it's only a hundred thousand which isn't too bad but in, as for other businesses, it's not the best. But it's at number five on this list. So number four is the MC businesses. More specifically, the cocaine, the meth, and the counterfeit cash. The weed and the document forgery, it's not, they're not the worst, you know what I mean? Like, they are profitable over time. And double money is rather pretty profitable, but you know, in terms of just, doing it solo, they're not the most profitable. However, the MC businesses are designed for four or more people. Is that so you get the most profits? In order to get the MC businesses, you need an MC clubhouse, which they can, which they can, which you can then register as an MC president. The cheapest one I think is 200,000, which is pretty easy to grind for, to be honest. And then I also recommend getting the Sandy Shores locations. For the um, MC businesses as it's so much easier getting into the city from Sandy Shores than going from the city to Sandy Shores because you know then you have to go over all the annoying hills and stuff and that's just a waste of time. I mean if you want to do that you do that but you know why would you? But yeah the most profitable ones are definitely the coke, the meth and the counterfeit cash. As you can see in this clip I'm using my counterfeit cash. I sold it solo just to get this gameplay but you know you should 
definitely try to aim with friends. And if you can't play with friends, then you can sell it solo. Any money is good money, and it will eventually add up. So yeah, MC businesses are at number four on this list for those reasons. They're not really solo friendly, but they kind of are. At number three, I put the gun running bunker. Um, one of the one of the more uh, solo friendly businesses. Uh, there is another one uh, higher on this list, and you, you'll, you'll see what I mean. But the gun running bunker um, is is decent. It's a passive business, like the MC businesses, which I forgot to add, which means you either buy or steal supplies, and then while you play the game, it produces in your bunker, which then you can sell into the city or sandy shores, which, for the record, you should always try and aim to sell in the city because it just makes you more money. And the cheapest one is 1.6 million, I believe, which is a bit, quite a lot, but to be honest, if you've been playing for a while, or grinder, grinding even, you should be able to make that pretty quickly, with all the other business combined. Um, pretty solo friendly, I think one batch of supplies gets you 140,000, which if you sell in the city gets you 210,000, so that's decent money. You know what I mean? So yeah, plus if you sell it under that, you do only have one delivery vehicle, which is always nice because if you try to sell a full bunker um, solo, chances are you're either going to run out of time or you know, you, you, you're going to get griefed because there's quite a lot of them because they're pricks. But, you know. It's good business, probably the worst sell missions as well, I just want to say that. It's definitely got its fair share of worst missions, like the Dune FAVs and the Merryweather sale, but... You know, once you look past that, it's a fun business, I'll give it that. But yeah. I just decided to put it here, because it's so friendly, good money, and yeah, just an all-round fun business to have. So yeah, number three goes to the bunker. At number two, we have the CEO crates. This is probably the most money, okay, it's sale day. like We've the most money the you can get on this list. Get the and, the and we get the reason I say that is right because you put a lot of money so into it, like the others, but it comes with high reward. And you, you need a CEO office, like the import export, in order to get a warehouse. Um, if you play solo, I recommend getting a small or a large. You know, if you have the money for it. And you play with friends and have friends to help you get a large warehouse. Um, I don't recommend getting a medium, I kind of see them as pointless to be honest, but hey, you do you. If you want one, you, you can get one. Don't recommend it though. Anyway, um, if you, so there's three, di you go to your office or your terabyte, and you can either buy one crate, two crate, or three crates. If you have a large warehouse, I do always recommend getting three crates. It's always, um, not cheaper, but quicker. You fill up more, you get more money. So that's always probably a good option, is to just, you know, sell, kind of, okay, hold on. What you want to do is you want to um, sell a full warehouse if you have friends. That'll make you, I think it's about, it'll make you a lot. Don't know how much it is exactly, but it's between a million and two million, maybe more, I don't know. I don't have a full warehouse, I have a small. But yeah, the sale missions are quite annoying, especially the Titan one. But you can upgrade them so they can take more bullets and stuff so they don't get shot down as easy. It's kind of solo friendly if you have a single warehouse, which, you, which has 16, but you'll only get one delivery vehicle if you sell under nine crates, so that's a bonus, I guess. But yeah. It's kind of solo friendly, but more implying than friends, and that's why I put it on number two. And number one is the nightclub. Now, to do this list, I actually had to buy a nightclub because I didn't have one yet, but I did buy one. So, unfortunately, I don't have any um, sale like clips. So, en enjoy me trying to drive this big bus to my nightclub. But yeah, from what I've seen, the nightclub is the best and most solo friendly business. However, and there's always a however, you need other businesses to link with it in order for it to be successful. Now there's technically two bits to the nightclub. There's the above ground, which I think can only make you about 50,000, which isn't too much, but you know, after a while it will add up. 
and then there's the underground part which is where you'll make your most money and you need to link up your other businesses you know your MC businesses your hanger if you have one which isn't on this list but like I said at the start it's not in any way a bad business I just don't feel like it's the best businesses you know unless it's double money no one really does it but we'll move on from that and yeah I just feel like the nightclub is the best business is although it takes ages to produce I think it's about 60 plus hours for it to get a full one you can use customizable um cell vehicles right so that's like that's a good thing um you know you you need you need other business to link up with it your mc businesses your bunker your hangar so if you don't have them it's probably not a good idea to buy one straight away like i definitely wouldn't recommend doing one like getting the nightclub as your first business if you're new to the game but it's definitely something you should have and I really do regret not buying it earlier because it will, it, I feel like in the long run it will make me a fuck ton of money. And also you can, you you have now, if you buy one, you've now got um, what you need to store a terabyte which is a grinder's best friend. So, you know, just saying, you should always try to aim for one of them. And yeah, just the nightclub is just very solo friendly. Is great for making money. Do it with friends if you have protection. And yeah, so that's my list of the top five GTA businesses. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.